Hi guys, this is just a pathetic plea into the universe for anyone who knows how to get around these sons of bitches at Skype. At Skype, you know, I, I give Skype good press all the time here on YouTube. Uh, it is the Skype is the only telephone I have had for six years. And I'm always telling people they should get Skype. I don't have a cell phone, but I'm getting ready to get one because I'm getting ready to lose my Skype account, my phone number, the only phone number I have had for six years. That every It's the only phone number that anyone on this planet has for me. And here is what happened is uh, I had to get a new Visa card. Simple enough, you would think. So I got a new Visa card with a new credit card number. and it, Well, it's a, a debit card. Uh, where I had to put in a new number. This is where I get charged quarterly. Where my bank account attached to my debit card number gets automatically charged every three months. $8.45. I pay about uh, $34 a year uh, for my Skype. Well, they told me at the bank to make sure that if I had anything that was being automatically charged to that debit account number, I had to go change the number in their account, uh, in the subscription account to Skype. So, I went on to Skype and asked how to do that. And it sounds so simple. Updating the credit card used for a subscription. If you have used a credit card to buy a subscription, you can change your credit card details as follows. Sign into your account, go to billing and payments, billing information, stored payment details, and when you finally get there, step four, click the edit link to the right of the credit card you wish to change. Okay, so here is the credit card I wish to change. This is my Visa debit card. There is only one problem. There is no edit link anywhere on the screen. There is no edit link, so there's no way I can edit it and save the information. All I have to do is, uh, is change the last four numbers. So they have delete the old Visa card or add a new payment method. There's one problem. When you go to the delete they give you this little exclamation point. This card is being used to fund your own your online number and your 12-month subscription. If you want to delete this card, you have to cancel your subscription first. And when you go on there, if you cancel that, you lose your phone number. You have to order a new subscription, and I am grandfathered in to the old subscription price. Since I've had my subscription for so long, I pay the reduced price. So the cost of my Skype service will double if I go through this. So I went through, I just tried to do an end run around it about, and add a new payment method. So I put in just my new payment card and it acted like it was taking it, but it didn't. And I went and checked back and it, it, it did not uh, do this. So I went on the Skype community uh, which was uh, hilarious uh, enough as it was. And uh, subject, why won't Skype let me update my credit card information? And my question, my, I put, I am just the latest Skype user pleading into the universe for information how to update my credit card I use for my Skype subscription before it it is canceled 
and I repeated what Skype told me to do, and as I just said, uh, the problem comes at step four, where there is no edit link. Has anybody on this planet figured out a way around this? And uh, so I went on the community, and you can imagine the uh, screaming rants. Here's, uh, hey, look, Skype. You've been in business for several years now. This almost feels like a government site. This isn't the post office, is it? Why don't you make it easy for us to give us, for us to give you money rather than obfuscating the whole issue so that we end up with two subscriptions, blind alleys, and a corn maze? Answer, please. Nobody has an answer, but they got 12 thumbs up to the comment. Uh, then someone having a similar problem trying to update, uh, update their PayPal, having the same thing as updating their Visa card. And here is the next one. I can name over a dozen friends and family members who have lost their Skype. Uh... I like this one. Uh, horrific blind alley nightmare just to simply update your expired credit card to use the new one. And after that, in red letter, offensive text removed. And you know, it goes on and on and on these these letters going back here's one from january 2013 where where uh skype has been hearing these complaints about this look at this Go, going back on and on and on uh and not one person from the skype help desk or anywhere else has come up with the answer. Apparently, I am going to lose my... I'm just going to write it out. Apparently, I'm getting ready to lose my subscription, lose my telephone number, uh, all of this shit, because they don't have an edit or update your credit card information link on Skype, which uh, about 40 million people on this planet use every single day. Uh, th this is the single most user unfriendly. There, there's no way, there's no such thing as tech support. Zero such thing. Anyway, this is my plea into the universe for any of you computer geeks out there to help save my Skype account. I don't know what else to do. I will be eternally grateful if you have any ideas you can uh, send me uh, you, you can put how to do it as a, a as just comment on this video because I'm sure there's other people who would like to read your comments you can send me a private message I don't care I'm trying to save my Skype anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated guys Thank you.